joining us now to celebrate Hawaii and preview the SoFi Hawaii Bowl is BYU head coach Kalani Satake. Coach. Niners fan? It, yes, you, 49ers you versus me, fan. Sunday I night. am. I am a Niners fan, but uh, I think most of that when I was a kid, they had the most BYU football players on their team back yeah. in the day. So. Well, they got a BYU football player yeah. on their team now, and he's doing some things. Pro Bowl alternate. Should be a starter. <laughs> yes, he should. Well, he, he, he heard. He's so good. He heard about that and pick six it just to <laughs> let everybody know. Coach, uh, what's been your favorite part of the bowl game experience thus far? Oh, just being around the guys and uh, seeing them enjoy, uh, you know, I mean, we, we practice and work hard, but just seeing them be able to play hard as well and have fun with each other and uh, going into the last game, you know, with the seniors. So I think that's 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 the part that gives us the, the most memories. And, and um, you know, being able to see the fans out this way as well has been really fun. What's it like for you having grown up in uh, La Ie and and to be the bring the team back because you come in 2017 but it's not a bowl game experience like this. Yeah, it's a little different. I mean, we're in Waikiki, but uh, you know, so uh, different than than what what the, the North Shore is like. But um, the guys are having a lot of fun and and I mean, just feeling the Aloha spirit here and, and being able to understand um, you know what it's all about, the culture, and, and they had a lot of fun in the Luau and. Being able to interact with the people in Hawaii, I think, has been really fun for our players, and and the food's not not too bad either. <laughs> <laughs> what is your go-to food when you come back to Hawaii? What's the one everything. thing you have to have? It's everything. <laughs> I mean, everything you can't get back back home, uh, back in in the mainland. So, anything and everything here. It's it's awesome. I mean, there's there's uh, so many different places you can go. It's literally uh, you know 30 second walk from here. So I, I love the place and I love the the situ where we're situated at. And, the Sheraton's been a lot of fun for us, and the boys have been able to experience a lot of different things and different foods and all in one day. Okay, let's talk about the game. I mean, you, you've talked about, okay, this is a business trip. We need to go win this mm -hmm. game, right? How do you balance experiencing Hawaii and being at this bowl game with focusing on the game itself? Well, I think just putting it on the schedule. We've had it on the itinerary for a while, and, and so far Hawaii Bowl has been great in, in hosting us and taking care of us, and uh, we filled in some pieces with, with meetings and practices, and and, uh, you know, our guys are reminded really quickly that, that there's a game here. And, and they knew that from the beginning. And we've been practicing and preparing for this game for uh, a number of weeks, you know. So, uh, you know, even got things got a little chippy towards the end of practices. Okay. You know, before we left Provo and uh, just seemed about right. You know, we, we had that. Uh, and the other bowl preps that have been here, we've had the guys getting kind of chippy. When you get around practice 11 and 12 and just seeing each other every day and hitting each other and it just gets a little bit uh gets a little old but but uh i'm excited oh we know it's, that it's right about <laughs> it's right around the time where we, we you know we can take off and and, and uh we know that it's time to, to focus on hawaii and i mean but the balance has been there these guys have been through this and then they can handle all of all the different parts of, of the uh, the experience here in in a bowl game BYU head football coach Kalani Satake with us on BYU Sports Nation. We were just discussing what BYU has left to prove in this game. So in your opinion, Coach, what does BYU have to prove in this specific bowl game? Oh, I think we just got to be consistent and try to play throughout the entire game, you know, and, and uh, that's been kind of the battle for the, the whole year, and, and a, lot of, a lot of teams are just trying to do that, you know, and, and for us, uh, being able to put the extra practices and have some extra time and focusing on that has been helpful for our program and, and developed a lot of guys and had guys really grow in the last couple of weeks. And so I'm uh, just excited to see them go and play and have fun together. Hawaii leads the nation in giveaways. They've uh, turned it over 30 times. A lot of that came more in the first half of the season. But uh, given that the, uh, BYU is top 10 in uh, interceptions, top 20 in takeaways overall, is that an opportunity uh, for this team in this game against Hawaii? Yeah, I think I think that's uh, other than the score that that's one of the uh, the stats that a lot of people be keeping, you know, keeping a lookout for. And, and for us, uh, obviously, we want, we want to win the turnover battle. And um, that that's if we if we do, I think things are working out well for us as a, as a team. So, uh, but that the the score is all that matters to, to us. That's the bottom line. We can score more points, and win the game. Really, the rest of the stats don't really matter to me. Do you feel like this could be a shootout given the nature of Hawaii's games this year? I don't Obviously know. Whenever, you're, whenever you're, people like give it that label, it never turns out to what they they're hoping for. It'll be so. a six to three game. Ten seven. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey, you take it, right? Uh, what? However, we can get the win. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> yeah, no, no questions about that. Uh, the Rainbow Warriors are obviously different last year 
or this year rather than last year. And uh, we've talked to a number of your players, and they've all kind of said the same thing. Well, yeah, a lot of the same guys, but they're better. How how are they better? What are they doing to execute better this year than they did last year? Well, I think you have to go to their coaching. I, I think uh, you know Nick Rolovich has done an amazing job getting his team ready, and the, obviously they won their division in, in the Mountain West and were able to compete for the championship. And so you have to give a lot of credit to their their coaching staff and the work that they've done within a year you know and even in the same year you see some of the improvements that they've made and and adjustments that they've made and I think they're playing really good team football right now and so uh, it comes at the right time for them and for us it's a challenge that, that we need to be able to just try to find a way to disrupt it and and uh, make sure that we play team football and that usually works out in all if you win all three phases you have a really good chance of winning the game and that's we're looking forward to the offense defense and special teams performing at our best. What have you and the team done to address, I guess, post San Diego State performance where you had enough yards to win, 416, but just the three points? Yeah, I think the focus is just execution and finishing drives and then really just finishing games. And, um, you know, but you can't sit there and, and, and kind of rest on the accomplishments when uh, when it doesn't really matter, you know. when. You what do you mean by that? Well, we want to score points. That's all that matters. I, I, I think... Uh, I think I would have loved to change places with San Diego State and get the win and less yards, you know. But the, the uh, but I, I want to make sure that our players understand that the improvements that we need to make is it's not really just in 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 the whole aspect of the game, but there's certain parts where we can just get better and finish. And um, you know, there's a lot of things we can do differently and better and improve on on offense, defense, and special teams, not just focused on one phase of the game. Your typical BYU fan may look at seven wins, eight wins, it's its really kind of the same thing. But for you as the head coach, what is the difference between seven wins and eight wins, especially when that eighth win is in a bowl game moving forward? What does that mean to you and the program for the offseason? Well, I think for us is to see how much progress we can make in, in, a, in a certain amount of practices, you know. And, uh, we, we saw that last year, and we came off of a loss going to the bowl game, and saw how motivated this team is and, and how the leadership in our group and uh, it's it's uh, the exact same thing has happened again this year you know and you're seeing leadership from a lot of guys that you weren't really expecting for uh, leadership from uh, in, in years years prior to now and guys like Diane Gamoluku and you know Michael Simon's always been involved in leadership but there's a lot of guys that are stepping up and really even those that don't say much like Talon Shumway and others and they happen to be a, a bunch of the guys in our senior group and I think they've established kind of the standard and um, the expectations for this team, and they've done it with the, with the young guys. They've done an amazing job leading the, the young guys and and um, kind of ushering them towards the bowl game prep. And then I think uh, they've done a great job at, at uh, you know being the great examples for these young men, the younger guys on our team going forward into 2020. So they understand how important this bowl game is and the preparation and and uh, obviously the the performance coming tomorrow. New Orleans Saints kicker Will Lutz uh, quoted a tweet that said, oh, Taysom Hill can do it all. And he said, hopefully he can't kick field goals. But in high school, he did kick. He kicked off. He kicked field goal stuff. Did Moose Bingham tweeted the other day that he made a 60-yarder in practice one time. Did you ever think about using Taysom Hill as a kicker at all? <laughs> we, we thought about using Taysom Hill at a lot of different positions. And so um, he's, he's the kind of guy that can – you could probably just leave on the field and you never have to take off. He um, could have played defense. He could have played defense yeah. easily. I mean, Safety obviously he makes tackles on, on kickoffs and punts. And so um, the guy is an amazing athlete and an even better person. You know, I just, I'm just really uh, happy for him and, and seeing the things that he can accomplish when, when uh, people allow him just to get healthy and, and focus. I mean, he's always got, got a, an amazing physique. But uh, now you're starting to see the versatility in, in his uh, in his ability to just do so many things, and I mean that's just on the field. Imagine what he could do off the field. He's the guy has a background to be an entre entrepreneur and and do so many great things in business. He has a, a, an amazing opportunity to, to help so many people in his service and leadership. And so um, he's done a great job for himself, and and his family should be really proud. And I know his wife's really happy for him too. And they're, they're going to do some amazing things on and off the field, just like a lot of our guys and our graduating seniors would be doing this year. Coach, great to have you with us on uh, Christmas Eve Eve to preview the Hawaii Bowl. Can't tell you how thrilled we are to be here. And uh, congratulations on what you've accomplished thus far, and uh, good luck tomorrow as you look to stay perfect in bowl games. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for that as well. So take the karma, <laughs> take it to Aloha Stadium, the Aloha Spirit, and uh, good luck tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Appreciate you guys.
Go Cougs. Okay, thanks, Kalani.